No. 
civilizations have fallen and wars have been won and lost on the turn of a few days' weather. It dictates the cultural attitude of whole nations. It has been at the centre of religious belief for millennia. It makes us happy. It makes us gloomy. It reassures us and surprises us. And it's on us to the limit. The weather is our friend and our enemy in equal measure. It is at the heart of our existence. In a sense, all of our weather began a million years ago and 150 million kilometers, 93 million miles away inside the sun, which is in fact a massive star. The heart of the star is an almost inconceivably huge thermonuclear fusion reactor, a hydrogen bomb, which reaches a temperature at its core of 14 million degrees C, 57 million degrees F Fahrenheit. But the energy generated there goes through a series of epic permutations before it reaches the surface of the Earth. It begins as gamma rays produced by the nuclear reaction, but these quickly degrade to X-rays. These radiate from the core until the temperature has cooled enough to allow volumes of gas to carry them rapidly in giant cycles of convection to the surface. There, the temperature is much more comfortable, a mere 6,300 degrees C. 11,350 degrees F. This journey of energy from the core to the sun's surface can take a million years or more. As they near the journey's end, the X-rays lose energy, so that what emerges it's, is first ultraviolet and then finally the bright, visible light that we see at the surface. The, in the turmoil that exists, constant leaping of electrons to and from different states of energy as they orbit the nuclei of their atoms releases photons or light energy. These photons radiate out towards the planets, travelling at the astounding speed of 300,000 kilometres, 186,000 miles a second. In just over eight minutes, the photons strike the Earth where, as each one is absor absorbed by the ocean, by a cloud, a droplet, by a rock, a plant, an animal, or you and me, it adds to the energy that warms the surface of the planet and adds to the force that is at the heart of our weather. shape by high altitude winds. 
Of his cheek, and then for the third time he bit onto it, clenching. 
See you.